In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 finance rules that school does not teach you. So, before starting the video please like this video. Do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. Number 10. How to purchase a home. People who graduate from college go on to accumulate more debt by purchasing a home. They don't feel secure enough with $30,000 or $60,000 in student loan debt, they require more. They go out and buy a brand new car, spending at least $30,000 on it, and then borrow as much money as they can to buy the most expensive property they can. A debt-to-income DTI ratio of no more than 28 to 36 percent is required when purchasing a home by the lender. This means that when you add up all of your debt and divide it by your income, the result should be less than 36 percent. If it is greater than 36 percent, the loan will almost certainly be denied. Alternatively, you might hunt for a less expensive home or increase your down payment. 9. How to save. You should constantly try to set aside 20% of your monthly net income. Set it aside in a safe account that will provide you with something. It could be a CD or a high-yield savings account. Once you've determined which investment you'll make, as well as your expected return and risk, transfer the funds from your account to the investment. This is how you go about it. Be thrifty. Don't buy goods based on your emotions, instead, make decisions based on logic. Never buy something the first time you see it. Before you spend the money, give it some thought. Unless it's an emergency and you can pay it off in less than 12 months, never get monthly installments. 8. Keep an emergency fund on hand. Unfortunately, being prepared for an emergency is not something you learn at school. They believe that their parents will always look after them. It's a sad reality, but it's the truth. You should have six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund so you can live comfortably and worry less. We hope you never need to use it, but if you must, make sure you live frugally and only use it for necessities like housing and food. Do not spend emergency fund money in restaurants or bars. 7. Creating a budget. You will not learn how to budget your money in school. This is an assignment for parents to complete. Every month, you must know how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. You must keep your expenses to a minimum and increase your income to the maximum. Your life will change as a result of this. You can save and invest more money, establish an emergency fund, pay off debt, and live a happier life. This is a parent responsibility, not a school responsibility. 6. The Power of Compound Interest Drinking, partying, traveling, and hustling are all on the minds of young people. If you begin investing your money when you are 20, you may be financially independent and able to retire in 20 years. Imagine being 40 and being able to do whatever you want with your life. You may make 7-8% to per year on your money by opening an account with a broker and paying the commissions. In 20 years, that adds up to quite a bit. Real estate is also a good place to start investing in your 20s. You can buy something cheap and hideous and fix it up with your friends. If you buy many houses in your 20s, you'll be a billionaire by the time you're in your 40s. 5. Credit scores slash credit usage. Getting a credit card, keeping it open, and paying it off every month is critical for a young person. This improves his or her credit score, allowing them to borrow money from banks and lenders over time. At some point in your life, you will require a home and a vehicle. You'll want to create your own company. In America, your credit score is required for every decision you make. When you have a poor credit score, it closes a lot of doors for you. It makes a difficult situation much more challenging. It's rather simple to teach someone how to use credit wisely. You can earn points by using credit cards to purchase items that you would have purchased with cash. Unfortunately, many people use credit cards as personal banks, spending more than they can afford. Then they forget about it, pay a lot of interest, and their credit score suffers as a result. Open a credit line, keep it in good standing, and keep it open for at least 10 years. It will improve your credit score and allow you to borrow a large sum of money at a low interest rate in the future. 4. Insurance. When it comes to emergencies, it's all about insurance. Insurance exists only in the event that you require it. 
it is something you will never want to use. House insurance, car insurance, and life insurance are the three most prevalent types of insurance. These are the three most valuable and valuable possessions a person can have. That is why they are bound by an insurance contract. Things happen, and you must be prepared to deal with them. A house could burn down or flood, a car could crash, and you could die in an accident or from a sickness. Whatever the case may be, you must be covered by insurance. You can also include business insurance to safeguard your company from litigation and responsibility. There are other personal insurances, such as the ones that doctors have access to. Having a six-month emergency fund and all of these types of insurances will ensure that you live a more calm life and that you are prepared when the storm strikes. It will, believe me. 3. Taxes. In life, there are two things you can't avoid, taxes and death. At the very least, taxes can be postponed, death, on the other hand, cannot. One thing to keep in mind is that you can earn money in four different methods. An employee with a W-2, a self-employed person, a business owner with an LLC or corp, or an investor are all options. The employee is the only one of these four who has no control over their taxes. The money was already set aside for your taxes when you were paid. To minimize their tax impact, the other three should hire a CPA or tax attorney. Whatever they're doing now, they'd be better off hiring a pro. There are always ways to deduct expenses or postpone paying taxes. Taxes are necessary because they pay for items in the country. Without leaving a gratuity, make sure you pay your fair amount of taxes. 2. College debt is not 100% necessary. Do not enroll in private schools if you lack the financial discipline to pay off loans on time and budget your money. You've been burying yourself since day one. Begin by enrolling in a less expensive community college and obtaining as many credits as possible. Apply to a state university and acquire a part-time work in a bar or restaurant after that. Use your entire willpower to pay for the school as much as possible. 1. You are your most valuable asset. This sentence has two meanings. So enhancing your abilities and health makes sense. Investing in yourself, your skills, and your health makes sense. The second is undervalued. If you haven't already, you should really consider it. Your human capital or ability to get up and work likely underpins your entire financial plan. Do check out the link in the description for great ways to start. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Do check out the site, lifeguidepro.com and see where to fix in. Thank you so much for watching.